Well, boys, it is about to go down. The episode we've all been waiting for is finally here, and we are about to see what is going on with the league. So, uh, before we get into it, I'm going to show you guys I did do some grinding to the team. I did a stream where I did some max raid battles, and I was able to get a whole bunch of uh, large experience candies. And so, we had a nice little candy party. And uh, the team is looking good. We're all up to level 58, except for Barney. He likes candy, especially. So, uh, I think that's probably a good stopping point. I'm expecting the champion to have uh, super high-leveled Pokemon. So, I want to make sure that we're ready for that. I don't know if 58 is good or bad. If we're over-leveled or under-leveled, I think that... I think we'll be alright. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and just cycle right on down this massive hill. And let's see what's going on in Winden. So, there's like a ferris wheel on the map, and I'm excited to see what that's about. So the music gets all crazy, Hop is here as well, and wow, this, okay, this place is looking badass. It's got like, it's like a amusement park almost. There's a whole bunch of like digital billboards. The architecture of this place is looking pretty badass. And then we have the ferris wheel, the main attraction. <laughs> But here's the actual main attraction, so I'm assuming this is just like the one stadium we go into for the tournament deal. And then we have the little center plaza. What's happening, Hop? Alright, Winden City. This is the place where I become, become a legend at last. You get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to become the new champion of the Gala region. That's it. I'm headed straight for Winden Stadium. Don't waste too much time, Hayden. You should head there yourself. Well... So, Hop is uh, just going to hop his way on over that way. But it seems like there's a decent amount for us to explore here. So, what is going on here? I feel like my Pokemon always smiles when we take photos together. That is adorable. So, I don't know if these people are going to, like, say anything useful. Hmm. So, we have a Pokemon Center. We are all healed up. Also, I do believe we're stocked up on Hyper Potions. It's kind of really all we're going to need. I do have... Yeah, we got 21 of those bad boys. I think we'll be okay. Look, there's like a phone booth that has a Pokeball on it. Hello? Yeah, I got tickets for front row seats in the stadium. Come on over. And we're just eavesdropping. Can we go in here? Nope, this is in fact not doors. They are just walls, so we can't go in there. Can't even keep my siblings under control. Don't think I can handle raising six Pokemon. It's not as, not as difficult as you would think, sir. What is happening? Mr. Rose used the power of his company to turn the city into a tourist spot, but without ruining the historical building, buildings and streets. Interesting. Well, so we have a... We can actually go in here. And it's one of them cafes. So it's a battle cafe. Um, you can do it once a day. You actually get a prize. I'm not sure what the prizes are. We're not going to do the battles because I think that we're, we're pretty set on levels. Probably not a bad place to, to grind first, but... Anybody can say things like, I've been a fan for a long time, or I've watched all his matches. doesn't prove that you're a real fan. <laughs> and then we have, this is a clothing shop. Probably some cool-ass new clothes in here. What's up? Ye old Boutique. And, ooh, okay, so the tracksuit jackets, I think we've seen those before. This motorcycle jackets. Jesus, these things are 111,000. I mean... They're pretty cool. I would definitely get the leather one. But do I want to spend 111 k No thanks. Some tracky bottoms. <laughs> and then leather trousers. I, I'm not about the studs on these things. And we're going to pass. Is there any new cool hats? I don't really like the sports caps for whatever reason. I, I just feel like they look like... Why does it look so unnatural on this man's head? And then what? What, what are these things? What even are the clothes in this game? I feel like the customization is honestly kind of garbage, but... <laughs> we can get some more sunglasses. If we want to go fast, we can get some sports ones. But we're, we're going to decline. We're going to... I don't think I'm going to spend any of my hard-earned cash on that, so... Let's just keep to the objective here. <laughs> we are going to head this way. Whoa. What's going on with you? Do you say anything important? Marty gave me her autograph just now. It's my treasure. There's also, we can get a haircut there, but we don't need a haircut. So we can actually head down this way, which the camera angle is super awkward. You can't adjust it. But it does do a cool little cinematic thing. I guess that's just a, a route to the stadium, which, wait. There's a blob of black sludge right there. So that's actually a decent hold item uh, for bulky poison types. So that's kind of nice. Anyway, let's see what's going on over, over at this area. 
Isn't this huge? Isn't this a huge Ferris wheel? It's known as the Galler Hurricane. That is a super scary name for a Ferris wheel. Bridges connect two separate things, so they can be seen as symbols of friendship too. Very nice, buddy. Very nice. These people just spawn out of nowhere. We have a taxi guy with uh, the Corviknight. So he'll actually just take us around Winden. Uh, if you don't want to freaking walk the whole way. And what do we have here? Oh. Ooh. This place is bougie as hell. What's going on? Being a doorman is a lot of work. Doesn't matter how many people come and go. Mistakes are unacceptable. That's why we have Pokemon helping us out too. He's just chilling with a sword. Nice hone edge. And, uh... Can I take one one of your finest rooms? We pride ourselves on offering five-star service that is beloved throughout the world. Hmm. Interesting. So I wonder if... So we have the elevators here, but you can't actually go in them. What is going on? What, what is the point of this place? Talking about your braviary. Hmm. Well, this seems like a terrible business. I was invited by Marco Cosmos to come watch the matches. Nice. A celebrity watching any match is sure to get anyone interested. Well, I literally don't think there's anything for us to even do here. What a random building. Why, why is this here? I'm sure that there's got to be something going on with that place, right? They wouldn't just include it for nothing. Gotta give it to Mudsdale. I've never seen it overloaded, no matter how many people are riding it. Poor Mudsdale. Okay, what do we have over here? I can change my job or even my home, but I can't change my favorite challenger and my favorite Pokemon. I don't, okay, what, what? Over here we have an air balloon, which is actually a pretty decent hold item as well. Not bad. Can I go in the phone booth? The most British thing ever. What do we have here? Uh, so we can actually take this to Winden Stadium or Monorail Station. Yeah, it looks like an elevator, but it's interesting. Well, let's actually just cycle our way and kind of see, let's see for ourselves, rather than just teleporting around the city. I kind of want to go to the Ferris wheel, but I don't think, can you actually go on it? I really hope you can. Are there more hold items? Oh, there's a hidden item right here. We got ourselves a nugget. Nice. Sell that for some easy cash. And here we have our way to the stadium, so... There's like some shops out front. Get your official merchandise here. We also have league cards. Okay, they don't let you buy anything. Today's weather is perfect for a match. I mean, I say that for any weather, and the stadium has a roof, but still. <laughs> Can I buy something? Challengers are just too amazing. Any mistake they make is seen by tens of thousands of fans, but the challengers just keep battling. Nerves of steel, friend. What? Nobody? Pokemon snacks or drinks? And then they don't let you buy anything. What? What the hell? Also, we have Team Yell just chilling over here. We're gonna stay out of trouble this time. Alright, so they're, they're kind of... <laughs> they're done with their usual shenanigans. Um, so there's one extra... One last Pokemon Center, but I believe... We are good to just head right on in. Let's see what's waiting for us in the stadium. This place is extravagant as hell. And I'm pretty excited. We have the Ball Guy chilling. What's up? Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the Ball Guy. You can tell you're following your dreams. Oh, he's gonna give me a Dream Ball. Hell yeah, he is. Thanks, ball guy. You know, we could always rely on you. We've actually got some pretty cool balls from this this lad. We have Hop hanging out over there. Um, and also... Hey, it's Marnie. This is it. I really made it. Made it through the gym challenge. There might be four remaining in the semifinals, but I'm the one who's going to win through and battle the champion. So we still do battle four as if it was the Elite Four, but I like how they kind of switched it up and made it into like a league form, or uh, like a tournament format. Hayden, correct? We've been watching over your performance in the gym challenge. This is just a formality, of course, but I'll need to check your gym badges, if you don't mind. All sorted and ready to battle you on the biggest stage of them all. But it looks like Beatty couldn't make it. Hard luck. Somehow, I didn't think he'd just take being disqualified lying down. You know what I mean? Honestly, I bet you we're going to have a plot twist where BD is going to be in the semifinals, I'm sure. Come on, Hayden. We should head to the locker room. Ooh, we actually get locker rooms. Yo, there's a punching bag in here. Attention, gym challengers who made it through the gym challenge. The semifinals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you are ready. Can I punch this thing? I wish there was like a little punch animation. Also, we can get a nice little pump in before we go. <laughs> kind of a cool little locker room. Oh, and we get to sit for one brief second. <laughs> so there's like a TV that's showing what the stadium's looking like. Got nice little brackets. I'm sorry, but only authorized people are allowed to enter here. Okay, well... Oh, 
Okay, I don't think I wanted to go in the elevator. No, I definitely didn't. So you can basically back out if you decide to. Um, so I guess we're about to just do it. This is going to be... This shall be interesting. Um, one thing I do need to note about the team, we changed a couple things up. I gave better hold items. Um, something that we got for Dumbo was high horsepower. And now that I actually think about it, I thought high horsepower had a secondary effect. Um... I got rid of Bulldoze for that, which means we don't get Sheer Force Boost anymore. That was actually a bad mistake on my end. I don't think it's really too big of a deal. I'm not going to go back and change it, to be honest. I mean, we'll probably... I mean, we got Play Rough as well, but... Damn it, I thought High Horsepower had a secondary effect. Uh, we did give it the Soft Sand item, which is going to increase the power on ground moves, so it's whatever. Next up, we have the Mystic Water on Inteleon. Uh, we had the Amulet Coin on this thing before. But we'll be able to get some more damage. Also, I've been completely avoiding snipe shot, snipe shot for whatever reason. It doesn't really matter because Water Pledge is the same base power. Um, but snipe shot's there, so. And then I think the only other thing I changed, uh, we gave the Wise Glasses to Toxtricity, which raises the power of our special attacking moves. This thing is just going to be able to do an insane amount of damage with Overdrive and Boom Burst, so that should be fun. And then I did ge actually give the King's Rock to Colossal, so we could try to get some flinches. Um, which actually is a bad idea because this thing's slow as hell. I kind of just, King's Rock was really like the only other item that I found useful. Hold up. Let's, let, we're going we're gonna to switch it up here. What, what do we have? What do we have for this thing? We really don't have much in terms of, in terms of items. I guess I could give it the balloon. If something wants to hit us with a ground move, they'll have to pop my balloon first. Which actually might not be bad. Now we're actually just gonna we're gonna leave the hard stone. I don't remember at what point I took that off. All right, keeping keeping the hard stone on you gives him give you some more rock damage. All right, so let's just head on in and see what is waiting for us. Who are we gonna have to battle first? Who should I lead off with? I have no idea. I guess Nelson's in front. We're just gonna leave Nelson. It's destiny. Let's do it. So. It's too quiet. Hey, look at it, it's Marnie. Yeah, she's got her, she's got her, uh, her jersey on. You look different. Interesting. Yeah, I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know there's been a lot between us. Uh, what with my big brother, Team Yell helping, Spike Myth, and all that. But the truth is, when all's said and done, I really just want to become champion for myself. So don't take it per personal when I kick your butt. <laughs> all right. So our first battle is against Marnie, and that's actually pretty cool. I'm assuming we're probably going to be pretty over-leveled for, like, the first set. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't get smacked by the champion, to be honest. I'm afraid of losing to the damn champion. Uh, she leads off with the Lipard. Yeah, this is actually pretty good for us. So, how many mons do you have, Marty? I gotta win this if I'm gonna become the champion. Coming at me with everything she's got. So, she actually has five Pokemon. All right, level 47 Lipard. We're absolutely, absolutely about to get destroyed. God, this thing's going to go for a nice little Prankster Torment, which really doesn't matter. And this Bug Buzz is, yep, going to destroy you. So, sorry about that, Lipard. To be honest, I just kind of selected like a bunch of large experience candies and did not expect them to give that much experience. But there was no turning back. Next up is a Scrafty. Let's just stay in here. We'll let Nelson kind of do its thing. Level 47. So did they really expect you to, like, not grind at all before this? Well. No, can't you use the same move twice in a row? Of course we can. So we're just going to click Blizzard then. And hopefully connect, which we do. And Nelson is a beast. So the Scrafty actually lives it. It's able to get off a crunch. And Jesus, that did a lot. Okay, critical hit. That makes sense. Ouch. Well, now we can go back to Bug Buzz. And she's actually going to bust out the full restore. So Marnie... Coming at us with the items. Kind of surpri surprised that Blizzard didn't just knock that thing out. But one more Bug Buzz is going to do the trick. We actually get the Spideff drop, which really does not matter at all. And freak, damn it, we're still tormented. To be honest, I thought torment went away when the Pokemon that used it fainted, but... Alas, it does not. A lower beam is going to take care of the Scrafty, and... Alright, two down. I'm excited to see what she's going to Dynamax, if anything. So there is a Toxicroak. Um, for Toxicroak, let's go into 
Dumbo because we can just high horsepower this thing. We're not even a horse, but I guess we get access to high horsepower. I really probably should have just left Bulldoze. I don't even remember the power of Bulldoze. Maybe it just evens out, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, level 47 again. Kind of expected her to have some higher levels, but I'm just going to go right for that high horsepower. Does hit us with a sucker punch. Luckily, it's not like a cross chop or something, so that's fine. And the high horsepower is going to do it. So, Toxicroak is dead. So this is just the first member of the league. I suppose I maybe went a little bit overboard on the EXP candies. Here's the more Picos next. Um, but it's better safe than sorry, because if I get all the way through this and then lose to the champion, I'm gonna, I am gonna would, I would have been upset. Which there's still a chance, because with them talking about how unbeatable that guy is, <laughs> he might be extremely high level. Also, I've, I heard people uh, on Twitter talking about how it's actually pretty difficult. All right, some more Pico. We are just going to brick break the shit out of you. And I was kind of hoping she was going to Dynamax this thing. That would be cool. She's actually going to Torment again. You really like Torment, don't you? Actually, not a bad move. But... Brick Break is going to knock your ass out, you imposter Pikachu. And last but not least is a Grim Snarl. All right. So there's something a little bit interesting. We have a Grim Snarl. Um, so Grim Snarl is the fully evolved form of... Freaking... Um, what the hell... Why can I not think of the little devil's name? What? I'm literally blanking on this damn thing's name. It's got the cheers back in there. <laughs> so, buff-ass Grimmsnarl, level 49. Um, so we have like nine levels on you, which we're gonna go ahead and Dynamax now. And this is a fairy dark type. And we are just gonna go ahead and max steel spike the shit out of you. She's probably, yep, she's gonna do it as well. So she's gonna Gigantamax it, actually. I didn't even know this thing got a Gigantamax form. Hello? Oh my god. So that thing is downright threatening as hell. <laughs> and it could definitely do some serious damage. My god, look at this thing. Definitely doesn't really look like a Pokemon. It looks like a... I don't even know. But, what do you got against a huge-ass elephant, sir? Impidimp is the freaking pre-evolution of this thing now that I remember it. Okay. Impidimp. For some reason, I thought it started with a D. It's got the dimp in there, I guess. All right. So, this thing is going to G-Max Snooze. This is an interesting move I know from competitive uh, that actually makes you drowsy turn one. So... The second turn, you actually fall asleep. It's equivalent to a yawn, which is interesting. But we do get the steel spike off on it. And that is just going to knock you out. So, go ahead and explode your Grim Snarl. But it's cool to see Marty coming at us with a Grim Snarl. So, get some experience there. Dumbo, level 59. I figured around level 60s is probably where I want to be for the champion. So. I guess we'll see how my prediction was on that. So, didn't really have a whole lot to go with. Let me know in the comments if you guys beat the league your first try. Because maybe I didn't even need to just beastly level my things. I, I don't know. Everyone in the stadium was watching us during all that. Heard them cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. May have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Your dreams are over. Sorry to just shit on your dreams like that, Marnie, but it had to be done. Guess that's not too bad. I think I'll join my brother in the stands. We'll watch from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you. See ya. <laughs> well, well, thanks, Marnie. I thought we had something special, but apparently we don't. I'll be waiting for you in the final match. After seeing the way you battled, I can't accept any outcome besides winning this match. My team is on fire. All right. So a hop's heading on in there. Do we have to, like, wait? <laughs> Do I get to spectate? Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handily, so as soon as you're ready, it's like you back on the pitch. All right. We're about to head right in. So, do they heal us up here? They do. They actually... They do hook you up with a heal, which is kind of cool. Let's actually lead off with our buddy Nuggets. 
And let's go see who our second challenger is gonna be. Is he gonna be BD and then Hop assuming, wait, Hop's gonna be the fourth, I, I guess, right? In the finals? Who do we have here? No, no, it's just Hop right now. The, is there literally only two before? Just had this sort of flashback, you know? Remember back when we were still in Postwick? When we got our Pokemon from Lee that day, never would have dreamed that I'd end up standing here, facing you of all people. But it's time I finish what I started that day. Got it? The one who will become champion is me. All right. So, I'm assuming this is going to be like our final battle with Hop. And hopefully, he's got some interesting stuff for us. Got the single glove. Ooh, he's got a serious face on, boys. So, he's going to lead off with his dub wool. Good to see the lad is back. He brought back the dub wool. So, this is his original, um, like, first Pokemon from the beginning episode, which is cool. We battled back in the garden, but I'm really fired up for this match in the stadium. So, this is... This is actually cool, really cool. I like these I like these stadium battles. Um, so it is just level 48. We are just going to go ahead and get caught and guarded. Which should be all right. I mean, we have... It's going to boost its defenses drastically. This thing is bulky as hell. My god. And of course, we only hit twice. Maybe we should switch into a special attacker for this thing. It's probably a good idea. Or we could just go into Shading. But... I think we should just bring in let's just bring in Barney let's check it let's check out our special attack see how well we're able to do with these same things so soccer ball goat about to get absolutely kicked but yeah oh oh shit he's got the Zen headbutt my god all right predicts the switch into the psychic type actually is able to do a decent amount of damage man so I am definitely like over leveled but I mean that still even just did a lot of damage to it. Let's go for a Boom Burst here. Just because I like Boom Burst. And this thing is faster? Hello? Don't flinch, please. What? How, how did the thing go first? Boom Burst is able to knock it out because we get that boost with the sound damage. And that's just a hard-hitting move with the glasses as well. Next is the Snorlax. So he has kept around the Snorlax. Hop really likes his normal types. We're going to go right into Chiding for this thing. So Snorlax is kind of a threat, but we're probably going to be like nine levels higher than this thing. Maybe even more. Probably ten. <laughs> Level 47. Even more. Wow. I was honestly expecting a lot more grinding to be necessary. Maybe I should I should have looked up the levels before I got into this. Because yeah, Rick Brink is just going to absolutely destroy. <laughs> Aiming for a super effective hit. He always mentions that. And so, critical hit, easily able to take care of the Snorlax. Uh, Farfetch'd always be getting crits, so. That shit was easy. Alright. Next is the Corviknight. So, for the Corviknight, we'll go right back into Barney. And we are going to overdrive you, so. Has he, have, has he had the Corviknight before? I honestly don't even rem remember. But, cool to see. Level 48, Steel Flying Boy. Looking badass over there. And we are going to overdrive you. Watch, I'm talking about all this overleveled shenanigans, and then when we get to the champion, I'm probably going to still lose. Just because I've pretty much jinxed myself at this point. Next is a uh, Pincursion. I think that is how it's supposed to be said. That is, we established last time, it's it's electric, right? We're going to go into Dumbo for this thing. And we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Pincher, it, it reminds me a lot of... Um, freaking... We're just going to high horse power at level 47. Reminds me of the innards out thing. Why am I blanking on freaking Pokemon names today? Jesus. Okay, that's absolutely just going to destroy it. So, unfortunately, we're just okoing everything. But my team is just... We're too, we're too strong here. Dexter goes to 59. <laughs> and then there's the Cinderace. So, we do want to switch out on that. We'll go into Dexter. Just give you a nice little, little starter sh showdown. Because why not? Yeah, we will actually click Snipe Shot this time. So, the Cinderace. 
Get you backed into a corner, Hop. Okay, level 49 Cinderace. This boy looks like he fits right in on like the soccer field. We are gonna go ahead and Dynamax just because we can. It's honestly not that necessary, but we're gonna get huge. We are skinny as shit, and now we're about to be tall as shit. Oh yeah, baby. Sexy Lizard. Honestly, the wing thing is something I never even noticed. Until the first time I Dynamax with this. Okay, so he's gonna Dynamax as well. I really, I wish the starters got Gigantamax forms. You'd think they would get G-Maxes, but... They just basically get larger versions, like, turn into larger versions of themselves. Not any cooler. So, Cinderace is honestly a super cool... One of the better start, like, I think probably my favorite. I don't know, though. From the base forms, definitely Sobble's my favorite, but... Yep, that is going to absolutely destroy this thing, and uh, sorry about that, mate. Didn't even get to see what this thing was going to do. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say now, I apologize for being overleveled. <laughs> but, to be honest, I made a lot of progress and then used those EXP candies, and I was like, holy shit, that gave me way more than I expected, and I, there, was no, there was no turning back, so. We'd be out here, just about level 60. And Hop has been defeated. Sorry about that, buddy. We had to just give you these hands one last time. Thanks, mate. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. We get $5,000 from him. <laughs> I like how you still take their money. So we got the commentator. And the victor of the semifinals, the challenger who has won their way through all of the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenge is... Challenger Hayden. Ya boy. You know, even when Sonia uh, was saying that you and me look like we could become heroes, I never really felt like one. But you, mate, I think you maybe. I think maybe you really could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Hayden, and Colossal, and the rest of your team. Thanks, friend. What a nice guy that hop is. Honestly, not as bad as a rival as people are making him out to be. Okay, so we're, we're done now? Was that... <laughs> he's, he's hitting us with the pose right out the elevator. That was incredible. Brilliant. Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. To think that the two of you set out together from the same town, built up the greatest teams and arrived here at this point to throw everything you had at one another. The burning desire to win, those moves filled with undefeatable passion. It was battling it. It's very purist in every possible way, even though there were, some, there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you'd fit to be endorsed for the Doom Challenger first. That was you, Lee. Well then, all more the reason. Um, my team members and I will give everything that we've got in us to defeat our challenger. Mm, so it's gonna be me. In fact, that's pre precisely what I'm hoping for. Well then. Alright, Hayden, the real challenge is what's coming next. And I'm completely exhausted. I just want to head back to the hotel and rest. Best to refill your energy stores first. Why don't we get some dinner together? Wow, so I really did not need to level... I thought we were about to do the entire thing right there. I, I don't even have to battle the champion. I could have gone straight in without any grinding and done that. I thought we were about to go ahead and like do four battles and then get to the champion but that was a complete mistake on my end challenger hayden okay so these people were all the ones who gave me the hands down that last round first question you and challenger hop are both endorsed by the champion making the two of you rivals in a sense wouldn't you say how does it feel to have defeated your rival uh, it feels great i'm glad i could beat him doesn't quite feel real it was just luck i'm gonna say it's just luck that i won <laughs> we humble Question number two. If you wanted to tell the challenger hop something right now, what would it be? He's standing right next to me, so... Um, I'd tell him how strong he was. Level with me, kiddo. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win in the finals, too? I absolutely do. <laughs> so, it's like they, they break it up here. You could have just gone straight in and battled the first two. Without any damn experience. To be honest, if I wasn't recording this... Let's play, I probably would have just gone for it just to see what levels they were, but I wanted to be pre prepared for this, so I grinded, but I did not need to. Always does what he says will do. As a kid, he promised me he'd become champion one day, and he went ahead and just did and did just that. He ought to be able to keep his own dinner plans. <laughs> Yo, six shoes. It's, it's freaking Piers. Kid sure got a mouth on him, huh? If you were that noisy during the battle, you'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know? Pack it in, Piers. I'm seriously worried here, so I don't need to seize your smug mug. Looking like you're having a go at me, even though you act like you're giving me good advice. 
Judging by appearances, no wonder you lost to your mate. <laughs> oh my god. If you're looking for the champion, I saw him heading to Rose Tower. Don't know what he's up to, but I ran a ran into him at the mon at the monorail platform. He said to tell you that he had something to do at Rose Tower, so he'd be late for your dinner. Mm. But why Rose Tower? What could he be what could he have to do there at this hour? Something's fishy here, boys. Piers, do us a favor. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither Hayden nor I know the way. Sheesh, what rude siblings. Always go so demanding of others. Though I suppose it's a real problem for me, too. If the finals are held up for any reason. Don't really hate the two of you, little runts. I don't really hate the two of you. You were good enough to beat me, after all. So I think I'll invite Team Yellow along, and we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant. You're the best, Piers. Let's make a quick, a real ruckus. <laughs> A real ruckus, huh? Well. So, Rose Tower is where we headed. Man, I just expected to just hop in there and just get, get shit started. Real anticlimactic first two battles, but... Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you, Hayden. We decided that Team Yell will cheer you on, Hayden. Let's help out together. And more Pico wants to help, too. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it's entirely unnecessary. Well, look who it is. Miss Elena. Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. Ooh. There's no way I'll let anyone interfere. Is this where we're about to find out he's freaking evil? After all, only authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. It means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. What the freak? I've hand-selected a member of the League staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kinds of a menial, menial games after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal league staff and the ones that I chose? Do you think you can find me? Hmm. So we're we gonna have to like go through some battles to like find him? This isn't good, but I got this one. Hayden team yell team yells yell and will. Handle this. Um, okay. This is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. Hmm. For now we should try to head to the plaza together. Uh sure. All right, let's all work together and head for the Rose Tower. So, something is, something's going down. Let's find Elena's League staff member. The bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? Hello? It's finally time for the Champion Cup. Okay, so that's not the freaking guy. Um, is he just, like, just, just chilling around somewhere? Is it you? I just looking for the hidden league staff guy? I'm confused on the whole situation here. <laughs> Team Yell guy's just running some laps. We also got Marnie hanging out right there. What's up, friend? Crazy busy. Not looking too busy, buddy. This place is a damn ghost town. Um, this guy's facing the wall. Hey, Hayden. This bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising that'll have so he'll have no choice but to look this way. Um, we're gonna say that. What? Well, blast! I turned around. And I can't escape. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. So, got to battle Marco Mac Macro Cosmos's Eric. Interesting. He has a Meowth. What? Okay. He's so gonna hit us with a Galarian Meowth, and we have a Nugget. And we are about to absolutely destroy you because you're only level 47. And we're gonna. I forgot that these things are steel type, so flame charge is super effective. And that's just gonna kill you. Also, I'm sorry, Meowth, for being so overleveled, but. I was prepared for the worst. Next is a Durant. Well, would have stayed in on a Durant. This thing is four times weak to fire. And uh, you're level 47. My cheers will really get you going. Thanks, Marnie. I appreciate that. It actually gives us a speed boost. That's hilarious. How would that make my Pokemon faster? Colossal does not speak English. <laughs> oh, Durant is dead. Barney grows to level 60. And boy, am I overleveled. I honestly feel kind of bad about it. At least I think I'm overleveled. We don't know what level the freaking champion's going to come at us with. But it's gotta be, it's gotta be pretty high level, right? Wait, what did, what did you just say? We just go back to 
Get back to the middle now. Like, hey, I found him. Seems like nobody's seen that bad, bad league staff member anywhere else. But they're hiding somewhere nearby. Did I not? Did I not just get him? I'm confused. Guy is still just running. Um, there's literally nobody else here. Unless it's you. Hey, what are you doing? How'd you find me? Or did you just talk to everyone you met? Bah, whatever. I'll defeat you this time. You have to, like, battle him again? Can I just, like... <laughs> Can I just, like, get to the champion? Now he's got a Mawile. Or at least this guy's got a Mawile. Alright, level 47. We can just flame charge you. Seems like they like to use them steel types, huh? How did that thing live that? What? What? Hello? Iron Head is going to actually activate our flame body, which is hilarious, and now you're just going to die to that. You should not have touched Colossal. That is where you went wrong, sir. You done fucked up today. Nelson grows to 59. Next is an Excadrill. So, yeah, they actually do have some really cool steel types, I suppose. Feel that flow? Oh, I'm feeling it, Marnie. I'm feeling it. <laughs> and that's going to give us a speed... Or, actually, defense and special defense, so... We shall flame charge you. Doesn't quite knock it out. So this would be a whole lot more difficult if I wasn't level freaking 58. Which I literally need like one more experience to get to level 59. Which is kind of crazy. But your Excadrill is dead. Lead me to your owner. <laughs> we get to 59 there. And I even switched up my Pokemon while I was running. Oh, so it is the same. It was the same guy. Of course, yeah. His, na his name was the same. They say hide a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself in the crowd. I was gonna run that way. Do I seriously have to fucking follow him again? I don't want to battle you anymore, sir. Oh, there's actually a hidden item over here. Have I missed that the whole time? It's a max revive. It's kind of nice. Um. So he went to the left. Makes sense for a cornered person to seek out the tightest hiding place, I guess. Don't suppose you got a box lying around. What? Now he's over here. Oh wait, no. Different guy. Just kidding. So. We're looking for the guy with the black sunglasses, but... Oh, he's in the box. He's in the box. My bicycle is too fast. <laughs> what are you doing in there, sir? Stop hiding. You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. Alright, I'm going to assume that this is the last battle with this guy. Now he's got a Pharisee. Where are you getting all these steel types, man? So, Pharisee is another one that is four times weak to fire. And why is half of it underground? Catch this flame charge, boy. Should do the trick thanks to the four times weakness. Very nice. Get that speed boost. But the iron barb. So we're taking a little bit of damage. At least we're saving time on not having to like heal up here since I'm freaking OP at this point. Next is a Steelix. So I probably should have gone into Inteleon for this thing. Level 47. We are going to get some support from Marnie though. So that's fantastic. Alright, we do get an attack boost. So that'll help out with Flame Charge. Steelix being super physically defensive, though, is going to be able to take at least one of them. And Dragon Breath. Oh, Lord. Your breath smells terrible, Steelix. It even paralyzed me. My God. So, now we're going to be slower. No, just kidding. We're still faster. Because of the speed boost. We're good. We Gucci. Down goes the Steelix. All right, Eric. Hiding didn't work and battles didn't work. Only thing to do now is run. <laughs> so now he's going to head out. He's like, alright, I'm going to head out. Seems like he got me cornered. Not going to give up. An ear from, from Mrs. Elena is way worse than anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Man, we still got to follow this guy around? Holy shit. Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner the league staff member at the station together. Interesting. 
Well, so it looks like we're headed to the station. Did somebody heal me up or do I have to like go and do that myself? Hmm, so here he is and there's four of them here. Please don't tell me I have to freaking battle all- I probably have to battle all these guys. I think this is kind of the way the game gives you a little bit of grounding before you take on the champion, I suppose. Ooh, Hop is pissed. You did a cracking job of cornering that bad league staff member, Hayden. Let me sing you a song fitting of your rockin' deeds. <laughs> Only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Oh, really? Maybe I can't cheer someone on just with the tunes I play. Okay, is he, he's singing. He, he's singing. Oh my god. Hey, isn't that Piers? Why is he doing a street performance? I think you mean a station performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. So everybody's like, wait, a freaking concert going on? Let me bust out my phone real quick. Like a food court in this area, some vending machines. Oh, the Zigzagoons love it. <laughs> oh, this place is bumping. Oh, Jesus, what's going on? We got the key, Pierce. We can take the monorail to Rose Tower now. Oh, heck. Where did you get a microphone stand? This guy just carries it everywhere he goes. Hayden, hop, now's your chance. Go, get out of here. All right, it's time for us to get out. Marty's coming with. All right. So, this is very large tower. And this place be looking pretty crazy. Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. Hmm. So what should we do? Team Yell's gonna have their hands full holding up these bad league staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Hayden, what should we do? Uh, let's go ahead. Good thinking. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge in the cha Champions Cup. Hayden, you cleared the way to Rose Tower. Now all you gotta do is charge on ahead. An employee's an employee, I guess. Seems like... That exact lady hid the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion holed up inside. Wonder what he's plotting. Wonder what he's a plotting. Times like this when tension and passion run high reminds me of Spike Myth in the old days. Some right wild concerts we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? Better get going. I'll send some support. Okay. Gonna stick around to make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, alright? Come back if you need anything. Cool. Let's go. Alright, so me and Hop are heading in. And it seems like we got some corrupt people to take care of. Did we get healed? We did not. That is annoying. Let's put Dexter in front. Because you never get the spotlight, buddy. We'll give it to you now, though. So, we're just gonna go right on in. And let us see... What could be going on in here. Whoa, it's huge in here! What in the world is this place meant to be? Like, standing on some flowers with a glass above it? Listen, Hayden, don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. You know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Ooh. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now. There's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert. Oh, Jesus. All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See, if Miss Elena says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. I'll get rid of the intruders. Probably get a big bonus. All right, so we got to battle another one of these uh, these guys. This is Elijah. He's got a Durant. So they do all use steel types, which is interesting. I love me some steel types, though, so this is pretty cool. We're just going to go ahead and give you a snipe shot. Level 48 Durant is all he's got, so... Ooh! The animation is sick. Now this is going to knock it out because, like the theme of this episode so far, we are, in fact, overleveled. Final Gambit. I did not expect this to be even going on. Had to give up my pocket money. Get hacked, guy. My bonus. Can you get me to the chairman? I need to see what's going on up there. Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. So, do we just head all the way to the top? Hold on, Lee. Don't worry, buddy. We're coming. They got our boy hostage. This place is looking all futuristic. Ooh, look at this lift. It's taking ages. This place is... 
Very tall, sir. Is this is this the top? Don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Oh, uh oh. What do we have here? You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Gallery Leads Elite Gym Challenge. Yet I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in the Rose Tower. Behold, the gloriously high level high tech elevators of Rose Tower are able to withstand Pokemon battles. Alright, so we're gonna have to have a double battle with Hop here? I hope so. Yeah, we're battling with our boy, even though we just smacked him. Teamwork makes the dream work. So they each just have one. You only have a Q fan, so why is it not evolved? Again, I feel super bad that I freaking overleveled the shit out of my Pokemon like this. I expected to just go ahead and battle the champion having like level 65 months. I was like, I, I, I should probably grind up, but it did not need to be done. It's at least making this a lot quicker. This is kind of just tedious at this point. I feel like a lot of people were probably thinking they were going to get to battle the champion. And now there's, now we're battling some random dudes on an elevator. Poor little double is taking a lot of damage here. All right, we'll be able to kill the Bronzong at least. And then your little baby Q-Fant is next. I like how it just points at him. Straight up shoots water out of its fingers like a boss. Body slam. It's not really going to do the trick there, Hop. Not very effective, but it gets a crit. And then it's fully paired. I like how his little ears are like hearts. What an adorable little elephant. Well, one more snipe shot is gonna do it. Can I get to the top now? Like, why did you stop my elevator? Extraordinary lift. Yes, quite extraordinary. If I've been defeated, I have little, no little choice but to re respectfully retreat. Yet I must ask at once that you please do not interfere with Cha Chairman Rose's work. The elevators in Rose Tower are constructed, so the only floor ascends, but the present some, but that presents some danger. Thus the presence of these walls constructed of light. You can thank Macro Cosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Absolutely wonderful technology. Our teams have been working themselves ragged for us. Let me heal them all up. Thanks, buddy. So we do get a nice little heal up. And are we... Are we getting to the top? Okay. Doesn't doesn't quite look like it. And of course, some more freaking people are going to come at us. Alright. Well, another double battle, it looks. Kevin and Carla here. Clang in a Mawile. Okay. Intimidate is a little bit annoying, but it doesn't matter. Obviously, we're special attackers. I honestly just really would like to get to the champion battle at this point, man. I was, like, so hyped on getting that shit started. These things are level, are level 48, so you could actually have some trouble if you didn't already... <laughs> if you didn't already, you know, freaking overlevel your mons. And double is no help because they're all freaking steel. And all this thing freaking does is body slam things. This thing is going to shift gear. Which definitely could be scary. Since Hop is like no help. You're kind of on your own again in these battles. But it's fine. But one snipe shot should do it. And you are dead. We've seen about every damn steel type in the game at this point. How many of you assholes are there? Get ourselves about $10,000 though. Maybe we can afford one of them leather jackets. Someday. Alright, so we get healed up yet again. And my god, how many floors are there? Can, are we at the top? Nope. <laughs> it's still not going to take us to the top. <laughs> See more people. You're nearly at the top, but you know, of course, not quite. So we have Adeline and Justin. Mm. 
And he's got a Steelix. And a Stunfisk. We actually have not seen a Galarian Stunfisk, like, since the first time in that cave. Where have these things freaking been? We are going to... I just, I just honestly am using Snipe Shot now for all the times that I didn't click it before. Does Water Pledge hit both of them? I don't, it doesn't, right? And of course, there's the Body Slam. So this thing's level 50, which uh, is actually kind of scary. Sets me up in a damn bear trap. And freaking ouch. I'm hurt by a snap trap. Why you do this to me? Damn, if I wasn't... If I wasn't at this level, I would be... I would be kind of hurting from that. But you'd be getting some solid experience anyway. So, if you started this at like level 45, you would be... You would be pretty ground up. Dumbo is now level 60. And we have done it. Are you the last freaking people? I don't know how many employees y'all got. I mean, assuming how tall this building is. It's probably like freaking 15 more. So, chairman at the top. He's gonna heal us up. Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp. Let's do this. Is it game time yet, Hop? Is it game time? Oh, it looks like it is. My god, we finally made it. So, what is going on over here? Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space. Here, nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So you got through all the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. But expect nothing less of the trainer's handpicked by the champion himself. I'm afraid now it's time for you to go home. Because I will know my god, look at her face, holy shit. You shall be first, Hayden. If I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle and thus lose... Oh my god, in that state, you will listen to anything the chairman says. Okay, so we knew this bitch was kind of crazy the entire time, to be honest. She has five Pokemon. She leads off with a Frostlass. So maybe this, this lady's got something a little bit more scary for us, even though we're still going to be about ten levels higher. So we are able to Dynamax here since we're in like a big old dome, so that's kind of cool. Level 50 Frostlass. Um, we don't have much for you. We should probably... We could go into Nugget and then Rock Blast will destroy it. Let's, let's bring in the Nug. Team is going to be around level 60 for the champion battle, and I don't know if that's good or bad, but I'm assuming we're going to be okay. It's going to hit us with an Icy Wind, which will kind of hurt a little bit, but we're fine. That was a crit. <laughs> Definitely does not hurt a little bit. All right, drops our speed, but we don't freaking care. Time to Rock Blast you to pieces, although it double teams. Why you do this to me? Please hit it, Nuggets. Damn it, it avoided it. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Now it's gonna hex us. So, we're still taking that pretty nicely. At nine levels higher, we're in a pretty good spot here. So this this battle actually would be a little bit interesting if her first Pokemon's level 50. She's kinda, she's kinda got some scary stuff. So Frostlass is dead though. Hit that boy two times. Oh, she's pissed off about that. How cheeky. <laughs> we heard her best friend. All right, next is a Milotic, so that calls for Barney to come in. At least she's got a very interesting team for us. All right, young Barney. Time to do your electric thing. So level 51 Milotic. Interesting, so yeah, actually really scary. We could we could have struggled against this sort of if I didn't, if I didn't grind up as much as I did. Although that's easily gonna knock this thing out because so much damage there, just so much stacking. We get the stab, we get the ability boost, we get the freaking glasses item, hold item boost. Next is a Salazzle, which does seem pretty fitting for her to have. So far, all of her Pokemon actually are pretty well chosen, I feel like. All right, so here's a level 50 Salazzle, and we are just going to snipe shot you. We kind of look the same. We, th we could totally date. Dexter and Salazzle would make beautiful babies. Snipe Shot just destroys it because we're OP. And 
And next is a Sarina. All right, so continuing with the theme of like some interesting uh, like feminine Pokemon, we're gonna bring in Old Nelson for this one. Okay, Sarina, level 50. She thick as hell. We're just going to Blizzard you and hope that we can hit. She only has two Pokemon left. We do connect on the Blizzard, so that's just gonna Oko it. We have literally pretty much one hit KO'd everything. Because I'm dumb and got my Pokemon way too high levels. And last but not least is a Garbodor. So for that, we'll go into Dumbo and just give you a nice little high horsepower. Which should be high elephant powder. Power, not powder. But I guess it works as a horse. Her eyes are so scary. Please stop that. Gotta finish this. You're not gonna finish this. Why is her last a Garbodor? What the fuck? She has all these like feminine Pokemon and then hits us with a Garbodor. We're gonna Dynamax Max Quick as she is going to Dynamax as well. Gigantamax, actually. Garbodor gets a Gigantamax form? What? 10 out of 10 did not expect. Look at, he's got the damn SSN inside of him along with a building and shit. <laughs> And like an airplane? What is this thing's design? There's like a Clefairy doll, there's a car, a boat, a skyscraper. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we're about to get big on him uh, with the elephant, so this should be interesting. Hear me roar. Alright, so he's actually going to get a Max Quake off first. Which, uh, does kind of hurt. Almost does half, so look at that. He almost made me bleed my own blood. Garbodor, you bastard. So, now we get the Max Quake you. And you don't like that too much. Nope, that's going to kill you in one hit. So, level 52 Garbodor does go down. So, if her last Mon was level 62, that's... Or 52, I mean. That's kind of scary. Nugget goes to 60, very nice. And alrighty. So we shrink back to regular size. Good job, Dumbo. <laughs> she looks all bummed out. I wasn't able to win. Elena, you really are a hopeless woman. Why is she why is she talking to herself? I'm confused. This girl weird as hell. Ah, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. Nothing to be done now. Well then, typical Hayden. You and Inteleon are unstoppable. Yep, I'm kind of a big deal, Hop. So now we're going to run forward. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. And what were they? So here we have the champion chilling with the chairman. Leon, we've discussed... This a hundred times already, and still you fail to understand what's at stake. You, who is supposed to be our champion. Leon, I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? Our duty as champion isn't this. This is madness. Or this madness. This is Spacha. It's to carry out that championship match. That's what Galar wants, and that's what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Ooh, look at that. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Gala region stretched out. And, all, and know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world, al world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. This guy's got his sights set on the future. The future is more important than just one day. We must act uh, as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy so that all can look forward to a better future. Maybe he is a good guy after all, in a thousand years. Fine, look, I understand your concerns, Chairman. I'll get my word to help you with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Yes, I agree. Lee, you never showed up when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something bad had happened. Beers and Marnie, and all those Team Yell oddballs, they helped us get out of here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we made you worry at all. There are times when adults just seem to be... Just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop. Hayden, let's head back to the hotel. We'll all grab dinner, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. Damn right it is, sir. If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose, 
and I do hope you watch tomorrow's match. Sure, it'd be one for the history books. So, looks like we are going through with the match. And I'm freaking ready to battle the champion already. I had no idea any of these shenanigans were going to go on. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We. No, I'm going to change the course of history. Ooh. That, was, that sounded a little bit evil, right? Am I right? The next evening. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are one, the ones battling, but I've had butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so what's up? Challenger Hayden, the finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Cinderace, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. Not like the other league staff. I'm a good one. <laughs> all the other ones were freaking evil. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Elena can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals. I'm afraid. Seems she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret. Hmm. Indeed, you, you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. You freaking better be. Well, if that's what she says. I guess we'll trust her, Hayden. Yeah, let's go. Can't wait another minute. Me either, man. I thought we were going to freaking get to going like... A long ass time ago. So, yeah, we shut me the way to the stadium. And uh, so I'm feeling like this is when I probably should have had to do some grinding. <laughs> like, all of that, I could have gone without it. But here we are at the stadium, and we're just going to head directly in. We got Hop here, of course. I I no more dialogue, please. I can't take it. My A button's going to break. This is it. Yep, this is the stadium. You got to show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire. Oh, I'll set it on fire. Unless the chairman does first. Okay. So. The time has finally come. What's up, buddy? Challenger Hayden, we've been waiting for you since you won your way through the semifinals. You must face off against the gym leaders in the finals. Ooh, they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through the final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So you're ready to go to the locker room now? Uh, straight away. Then I'll show you the way. Show me the way. We have to battle all the gym leaders again? Sweet Jesus. I'd say aim to win this thing. And I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone in Spikemith reclaim their pride. This guy just doesn't have a Dynamax mod, so he thinks... He thinks he's cool. Will you be heading onto the pitch? The opening ceremony should be starting soon. I'm ready, boys. We're about to, we about to get right into it. Okay. So the first, the first freaking battles we did were, were just to get our, our right to get here. Probably goes without saying, but hello, Galar. I'm your champion, Leon. Chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope no one minds me stepping in on his behalf. In order to lead you all to the greater heights as Pokemon trainers of the Galar region. The time has come for you to battle it out until the greatest challenger remains. It's gonna be your boy. All right, this is pretty epic. Wait, you. Oh my god. It's freaking him. <laughs> he is here, young grandma looking ass. A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I'm Beatty, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. He's a challenger endorsed by the chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with challenger Hayden here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. Oh, Lord. Are we about to retire? We got to ruin this whole this man's whole career. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I've had to say something. Do something. Ever since he showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Elena who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And then that strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy-type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? <laughs> Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy-type Pokemon every day? Oh man, sounds sounds rough. And here I am, pouring my heart out to you, when I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted BD's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every, tra every trainer a chance to grow stronger, or is it a trial for Challenger Hayden? My, my will hasn't broken yet. All right, so we got to battle freaking Beatty again. And uh, this should be interesting. Maybe he's going to have all sorts of new fairy-type stuff for us. 
got a great ball in his hand. So, leads with a Mawile. So, yeah, there's a, that, that's a fairy. Interesting. Uh, so, we got Dexter in front still. And let's see what this thing wants to do. So, level 51, gonna intimidate us. Does not matter because we are special. So, catch this snipe shot. And that's going to be a dead Mawile. Mawile with a critical hit. Which I'm not sure if that mattered. I really thought we were about to just straight up battle the champion right now, too. We're getting like too many levels at this point as well. Next is a Gardevoir. Let's just stay in here, honestly. I think we'll be okay. So he is going to be hitting us with all new fairy stuff. This man got himself some shiny new stuff. We're just going to snipe shot you. Which you can probably live. We do have nine levels on it, so it's definitely going to be able to live that. It does hit us with a Psychic, so that's going to hurt a little bit. Ooh, would you look at that? Almost did about half. So, damn, if we were any lower level, we would definitely be having a challenge here. But, EXP candies have gotten the best of me. Which, again, I apologize for. <laughs> Alright, next is the Rapidash. So, Galarian Rapidash. Um... We are just going to go into Dumbo for this thing. Dumbo's going to be great against his team because we can just Iron Head like everything. Paparaja has really come through. So, level 52 Rapidash. So, actually a little bit scary and we have not seen a Galarian Rapidash yet. And that thing, it did... I honestly don't really like its design. Like, what... Why did they have to do Rapidash like that? It was way cooler when it was fire. Now it's got freaking, like, cotton candy toothpaste for hair. <laughs> but a heavy slam is going to take care of it. See you later, Rapidash. Next is the Hat Hatterene. I don't really know how to pronounce this damn thing's name, but we're going to stay in here. Level 53. And we have, actually have not seen the evolved form of this thing yet. It has anticipation. And uh, quite the interesting fairy thing we got there. Level 53, so. We've only got seven levels on this thing. Uh oh. I didn't even realize I should have Dynamaxed. Oh god. I mashed A way too quickly. This is not good. I'm not sure how to feel about this Pokemon. Looking. Pretty ridiculous. Shook its head. Wait, what? What the hell just happened? Oh, it's because I... Oh, it's because that thing weighs more than me now that it's freaking Dynamax, I think. We just got absolutely destroyed by a Max Flare. Holy shit. Okay, did not expect. <laughs> so yeah, we can't use Heavy Slam when the opponent was a Dynamax, I think. Because I think that happened to me one time in a max raid before. Wow. Well. Um. Shit. This is not good. Let's go into Nugget just because we're we're massive. We're gonna need a Dynamax here. When I saw that thing shook its head, I was like, "Wait, what? Do I not have enough freaking badges? We're gonna go for a max Rockfall. So at level 60, we should be okay." That was definitely a misplay on my end, sweet Jesus. Okay, so we get big on him. Let's see how much this does. Shit, do a lot. I don't think you're very defensive. Okay, so it does over half. We're just gonna need to hit it with, hit it with that bitch twice. Also pick up the Sandstorm, Max Mindstorm, which should definitely hurt. Look at that animation, though. Okay, doesn't nearly hurt as much as I expected. And now we just click Rock Bowl again. So I, I expected beat. You, why, why don't you have more Pokemon? What the hell? 
I expected more from you, BD, or B, or however the hell your name is pronounced. So we knew that he was going to end up being here at some point. We knew he wasn't just going to not show up. Alright, so we shrink back to normal. And that's going to do it for that. Do we still have more battles before the champion? Literally, when I started this episode, I thought we were going to walk in, do a couple fucking semifinal battles, and then, <laughs> and then take on the champion. But that was not the case. Looks like Challenger BD was no match for Challenger Hayden. That was some match. Yes, some match indeed. Don't retire, just restart your career. <laughs> the audience said that. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even though I lost, I'm going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. You just keep messing up my plans. With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Though I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. Okay. Well then, what now? Rather surprising for Challenger BD to barge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please hand under the pitch. The finals are about to begin. Lit. Okay. Uh, the team's actually looking full. Do we just do we just go for it? I think we just go right in. All right, the time for waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger Hayden. His opponent is the Raging Wave, the master of water types, Nessa. So I did not expect to have to battle uh, the gym leaders again, so this is interesting. I can tell you've grown, you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Holberry Stadium. Got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent, too. But you're not the champion. You'll never become the champion, either. Whoa. Those are fighting words, Nessa. I don't appreciate that. So let's go ahead and get it. So she's got five Pokemon. You got a Galisopod. All right, so she's got a nice little upgrade to the squad. Uh, we do not have much to do to Galisopod with, uh, with Inteleon here. So... What do we have for you? I guess we're just going to go into Barney. This thing's going to be able to do a lot of damage. Uh, but if it goes for like a first impression, we'll at least be able to resist that. So, Time to bring in the Barney. Ooh, shit, it's got a sword stance. Okay, that's, that's a little bit bad. So, we do still have 10 levels on you. So Overdrive should be able to... Do the trick. Yep, dead Glycopod. Man, I did not expect all of this. I really just expected to like beat Hop and two other people and then battle the damn <laughs> the champion. Next is a Beriscuta. We have not battled against a lot of these things. Uh, but at level 52, you're a little bit scary, but you know, we're still just gonna be able to destroy you. Oh shit, it has drill run. Okay, never mind. False alarm. Whew, luckily we're able to live that, but just barely. And an overdrive should at least kill it though, so. Super fast Beriscuta. Is Barney like slow? Like, it seems like we would be fast, but we get outsped by freaking everything. Next is a Sea King. Fuck yeah, Sea King. Uh oh, this actually probably has the Lightning Rod ability, doesn't it? She wouldn't be using a Sea King unless it had the Lightning Rod ability. We're gonna go ahead and just go for a Boom Burst for that reason. And that's just gonna knock you out. So we are just ripping through. Nessie, you are no match. And Pelipper. So, four times weak to electric. You can basically breathe on Pelipper with an electric attack and you kill it. So, at level 51, this thing is not a threat at all. I literally, it kind of, I'm, I'm kind of upset that I literally could have gone without grinding at all and probably would have been perfectly fine. But, I saw like a screenshot of somebody battling the champion or something. I don't remember what it was. And they were like, yo, this guy's way too overleveled. So I was like, well, shit, before I start this episode, you boys got to use some EXP candies. Much regret. And a Dreadnought. So this is what she's going to Dynamax. Or it's actually going to be Gigantamax Dreadnought. Uh, which is something I have actually seen from Max Raids. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. So, level 53 Dreadnought. This thing is a threat. We're going to Dynamax here and just hit it with a Max Lightning and hope that we can... First of all, hope we can go first. Unless this thing has like Swift Swim or something. We 
might have a bad time. But we're going to get big on him. Look at that boy. I love toxicity. All right. Time to see this thing turn into freaking Bowser. Okay, so there's the Dynamax. This thing actually has a super cool Dynamax form. I like this thing a lot. Very interesting, boys. He's going to get that HP boost. And let's hope that we don't just die here. So we do get the Max Lightning off. And it's just going to kill it in one hit. How extremely anticlimactic was that? Just absolutely destroyed that thing. Not too shabby, though. So we've defeated Nessa. Do I really have to battle, like all of these gym leaders I guess it's kind of cool in like a tournament form that we have all these battles with like the gym leaders we're familiar with but your boy was really just expecting a champion battle here pulled it off again you and your Pokemon are just too much alright commentator Second battle. So. Looks like we're going up against, what was it, Pierce? So our team is nice and healed up, luckily. Let's put, uh, let's put Nelson in front. You know, you haven't gotten any use. So we are going to stick that thing in front, and we shall continue. Ben -a -dan -dan. Ben -a -dan -dan -dan. All right, this year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away the gym leader Nessa. On the other side, we have the Galar Karate Prodigy. All right, so we have Bay. I really was just kind of flying through that text, which I apologize, but I kind of just feel like I've clicked through a lot of text here. This episode was meant to be a quick one, and now we're like an hour and 20 minutes into it, but we ain't stopping now, boys. We're going all the damn way. All right, so Bay or Baya. We got five Pokemon lead off with a Halucha, which is a super scary mon. And Nelson has a decent matchup here, so we're just going to go ahead and click Blizzard, which we can hopefully hit. Show you what you can do when you're serious, huh? So, level 52 Halucha. Let's just go for the Blizzard. And, oh, it's actually going to be able to go first and Flying Press me, which... Ooh, we live with four. Holy shit. And we do connect on the Blizzard, so thank God. The Halucha is going to go down to that, but yo... That flying press was scary. <laughs> My god. Alright, next is a Phalanx. Yes, we love this thing. We love us some Phalanx. Um, we really don't have much for it, though. Let's go into Barney. We at least resist fighting. I don't know what Phalanx wants to do. It really looks like a Pokemon to me that would evolve, but it really just it doesn't, which is very surprising. So, level 53 Phalanx, getting up there in levels. I love these things, just marching. All right, let's just go for an overdrive here. Which, this thing is just pure fighting. Yep, that's just gonna knock it directly out. We are way too OP. That special attacking damage is just insane. Next is the Grapplocked. Um, Octopus thing is super cool. I really considered using this thing on my team. I like its design a lot. Level 52. This boy ready to fight. And Barney wants looks like he wants to be petted. This is not the time to be pet. Because an overdrive is just going to absolutely destroy that thing as well. So the overleveled OPness is just going to continue. And I just said, I just said penis. I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> Level 53 Surfetch. So she's coming at us with some heat. Okay. And we're literally just going to click overdrive again. With our hold item and our ability... And just insane special attack already. There's just literally nothing that can live that. Toxtricity is extremely OP. Especially when we're way more over leveled than we should be for that. So, we got a Machamp. Guess what we're going to do? Just go ahead and stay in here. And this is actually going to be a... It's going to be the Gigantamax Machamp. We have seen this thing before. 
I think. Wait, is this our last Pokemon? It is, right? So, level 54 Machamp, which is actually pretty damn scary. We are going to go ahead and get big on you. As this Machamp is going to get nice and scary looking with his yellow-ass veins that we have seen before. So, play our little chest guitar. And basically, just wait for Overdrive to, like, one-hit kill this thing. Well... Machamp actually already has pretty decent um, natural special defense, so it, especially with the Gigantamax form. I might have a little bit of a hard time. We're going to have to just click A twice rather than just once, I think. I don't think Machamp has much that could knock us out, so we're probably good. Spooky ass Machamp. Yield Max Lightning is going to do over half, so it is a two hit KO. And we set up the electric terrain, which is cool. Even the people in the crowd are feeling that one. And then Max Strike. Which looks super crazy. Doesn't do much damage to us, because now that we're large and bulky. I'm gonna drop my speed. But, ooh, now it's able to hit twice since it drops my speed. So that's a, that's a little bit scary. If we were about five levels lower, we would have had, we would have had some trouble with that. But this last Max Lightning is going to do the trick. And now there's a dead Machamp. Alright, Fighting Lady caught these hands a second time. Some solid experience for the squad, which is extremely unnecessary. <laughs> she dies a little thing. Your strength nearly made me want to turn and run in my bare feet. <laughs> you shoulda. Challenger Hayden has shown his skill. You best believe it, commentator. Thank you for a wonderful match. I really enjoyed battling you and your team. I'm upset that I lost, but I also feel so satisfied and so refreshed. In a way, I guess you could say it was the best sort of match anyone could ever hope for. And I hope you'll meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. Thank you. Gonna go ahead and mash the shit out of A. And now we have to battle Raihan. Contender Raihan gloriously defeated Contender Piers. Oh man, we don't get to battle Piers again? Shoot, dang. You shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Oh, uh, hello? Sorry, Hayden. Thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Raihan. You look so sloppy out there that people are gonna think we're both weak, because we're related. <laughs> You got it wrong, sis. Raihan's just that strong. When I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Alright, I get it, but that's exactly what I wanted, why I wanted you to win. Still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. Counted on you to win, Hayden. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wag just before the final match. Raihan's waiting for you on the pitch. Alright. So Raihan is going to be our last battle before the champion. And we're going to lead with Dexter this time. Just to see how that goes. And uh, so Raihan, we didn't have much trouble battling him the first time around. Just like we kind of didn't have, you know, much trouble battling anybody the first time around. But we'll see how this goes. Here it is. The last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion Leon? Will it be the brilliant riding star, Challenger Hayden? Or will it be the only trainer that champion Leon calls his rival, the tamer of dragons, Raihan? Let's do it, buddy. This boy tall as hell. Guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you. Yeah, Leon's my rival and he chose you, so I've got to, got to first prove I'm better than you if I'm hit to beat him. Reworked my whole team and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. All right, so no more double battles with old Raihan. He's got to go with some league rules, which are just one-on-ones. So, single battles. Let's get it, baby. Raihan has five Pokemon. He leads off with a Torkoal, which is actually great for us. So, Dragon Guy sends out Fire Turtle. <laughs> and uh, we can absolutely just snipe shot you. Although it does have Drought. Which is going to lower water damage, which is fine though. Sunlight burning real harsh. So, level 53 Torkoal. Getting up there in the levels. So the snipe shot comes through, and is still just going to knock this thing out. Because we are too freaking OP at this point. Next is a Gudra. 
Interesting. Okay, so we have not seen a Gudra yet. We did see a Sligu um, that someone in his gym had at some point. But we have not seen the man Slime Shady himself. So let's bring in Nelson. We should be able to handle it. Gudra has insane special defense. So we are going to probably have to click Blizzard here. Level 54 Gudra. We do connect. And that is just going to knock you out. Blizzard OP. Not only are my mons over leveled, we just we just have great. Ooh, we're trying to learn Hydro Pump. Nice. We just have great stats, dude. Uh, let's just get rid of Water Pledge. We have a Snipe Shot, which is the same damage as Water Pledge. Now we have Hydro Pump, which is fantastic. And we got it. So next is the Turdinator. We have seen this thing before. Let's go into Nugget for it. So he kept the Turdinator. He's got the Torkoal and the Turdinator on the same team. Got it. We love to see the representation for the Turtles. Save the Turtles, don't use straws. Alright. Level 54 Turdinator. Uh, we beat you with Nugget last time. We're just going to go ahead and click Rock Blast on you. He has three Pokemon left, so he's not going to be doing any Dynamaxing yet. Can we hit the correct amount of times? Please? Okay. Only twice? That's not good. We are going to have to take a Dragon Pulse, which should be okay. Yep, not going to do much. And Uno Mas Rock Blast is going to do it. Just got to hit twice. And you did. Alright, two to go. Next is a Flygon. So, for Flygon, you already know the drill. Young Nelson, the Ice Boy. But we initially brought on the team to battle this guy's gym the first time, but it turns out he didn't even use very many dragons. And he does have that Duraludon thing, which is kind of scary, but just doesn't care about ice moves, really, so. Flygon does, though. This thing is four times a week, because it is a ground dragon. And we're just going to click Aurora Beam, which we should be okay with. It does go first, and he goes with the Sandstorm. So that's not very difficult. Why would you do that? You could have gone for like a stone edge and just absolutely destroyed me because I'm four times weak to ice. But you didn't. So, Aurora Beam is going to knock it out. Yeah, that's a dead Flygon. Shadin grows to 62. Did that say... Oh, damn it. I clicked A too quickly. I think it's Durl. It's got to be, right? We're going into Dumbo here. I mashed A too quick and I didn't get to see what he was going to freaking send in. Is it the Duraludon? I'll be the one to beat Leon, so first I'll beat you. Yep, it is going to be his absolutely massive ref refrigerator dragon, level 55, so a little bit scary here. We're going to go ahead and Dynamax, and we're going to Max Quake, because that is going to be our highest damage output. So we get to see this thing turn into the freaking sky skyscraper again. Which is a pretty cool design. Oh yeah, he did. Don't know what moves this thing might have for us, but... You're gonna get big, sir. We're gonna get big as well. I wonder if anybody Dynamaxes, like, before the opponent does. It's going to be interesting battling against the champion. We know that Leon is going to Dynamax his Charizard, so that should be fun. Max Knuckle. Okay. Yep. Ouch. That's actually going to hurt quite a bit. Not really. Just kidding. That did nothing. How did that do so little? My god. It had some type of fighting move, <laughs> but now we can just get off a of Max Quake. Quite gonna be able to knock it out, but one more is gonna do it because your max knuckle is not gonna be able to kill us. Because for one more, you don't even have any knuckles, sir. We are able to live with over half, and we are looking good. Dun, 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 dun. And it's gonna be a dead Duraludon, so we have done it. Absolute madman defeats Skyscraper Dragon with large elephants. Oh, 
All right, Raihan, Raihan, you've been defeated yet again. And sweet Jesus. Losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. This guy's all about taking pictures for whatever reason. This man is about his, se his selfies. So we seized victory. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before, but you just blew right past us, beyond anything I'd imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum, prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 69, Challenger Hayden has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. Oh, it's lit, boys. It's lit. Finally. It has taken us an hour and a half to get to this point. I did not expect that. All right, the big moment's finally here, eh? I came just to cheer you on, you know? Still, it's not easy picking sides. I like how he's got his, uh, got his freaking rabbit hanging out with him. After all, it's the showdown between my big brother and my rival. But who should I really want to win more? <laughs> Your Cinderace is trying to tell you something. Right, you reckon I should cheer for Hayden too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. Honestly, forgot that that was that, the name of that even, that town. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Yes, Cinderace agrees. So, the time has finally freaking come. No idea what he's going to use. But, let's go ahead and lead off with young Nelson. Just because we love our moth boy. So let's just head on in. I'm pretty I'm pretty damn excited about this. What if I'm underleveled at this, <laughs> at this point? Like, what happens if you get this far and you lose? Do you have to go through the whole freaking tournament again? That would be actually hilarious. Alright, buddy. It's just me and you, Leon. Hello, sir. The tents still air on the still air on the pitch, and the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose. After all, I can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Gala Region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Let's do it, boys. The whole game has led up to this. Champion battle. Finally going down. Wait, hold on. Hey, look at the monitor. What's that on the big screen? What? What? Hello there, Leon and Hayden. Just letting you know. He's like, we're doomed in a thousand years. <laughs> I think it's time I brought about the darkest day. For the sake of Galar's future, of course. What? Bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. What is going on here? Hello? Are we not about to do our battle? You refuse to listen. Oh no, there's some other shit going on? <laughs> what? Lee, Hayden. That video stream, that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know, but everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve a problem a thousand years in the future? Got to see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is a real champ. Oh my god. We got that close to getting the champion battle started. Sweet baby Jesus. Want to help my brother Hayden? I've got to, but I can't even imagine, can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I ever be? You can help, buddy. Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark once, ages ago. Yep, what does that mean? He's bringing about that about, where did he even hear that name? Back in Motostoke, the statue of the hero in Motostoke. Sonia said something back then, though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes. Sonya thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though. We should try to find them, Hayden. But where to start looking? Uh, back in the Slumbering Weld? Sure. That's it, Hayden. I'm sure it's got to be the Slumbering Weld. Yeah, that illusion you tried to fight off that one day must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. So, we're heading back to the Slumbering Weld, and the champion battle is not quite happening yet. R really? Really? 
Okay, so we're back to our nice little quaint hobbit house. And Sonya is here. Huh? Aiden and Hop? Completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Hey, it's Mom. Haven't you been watching the news and all? The tournament is off, Sonya. The chairman saw that, saw to that, and descending the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wilds? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. They're calling it the darkest day. It's thrown every, everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? Sure did. The name for the black storm that nearly brought the Gala region to ruin in ancient times. So, what are you here for, Hayden? Uh, I'm here to stop the darkest day. To stop the darkest day? You mean you're going to search for the sword and shield Pokemon? Take this. She said to the slumbering well. Catch up with you once I'm done looking. Is it going to be a Master Ball? Nope, three max revives. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine, too. You know, we'll take that. So... Into the slumbering wilds we go. Mom's like, well, I saw him for about two minutes, and that, that was it. So, this is, we have not been here since we started. Definitely grown a lot since then, indeed. Legendary beginning. Alright, so let us head over this way. It is time to go find the legendary, I guess? I don't know, man. I have no idea what's going on at this point. But this is all unexpected and pretty cool, so let's go ahead and get into it. We have some damn Rookadies. I do not want to waste my time with y'all, so we're just going to avoid that. So I'm assuming we're just going to go to the same spot where we saw uh, Zacian or whatever the first time. Oh, oh, this Rookadie. Nope, just kidding. Young Sandy, you got me, Squavit. Nelson does not have the time to mess with, <laughs> mess with level 2 squirrels. We could just absolutely obliterate that thing with like a bug buzz, but that would be mean, so we're gonna not. More squavits. And boy, is it foggy up in here. Nothing good ever happens when it's foggy out. So what do we have? Popping over this way. Hello? Why couldn't you just wait for me, Hop? Oh, oh shit! There's straight up Galarian Weezings out here. I had no idea. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Also, we found a full restore right there. Damn, well, we could catch ourselves a Galarian Weezing. Those things were definitely not there before, were they? There's a hidden item right there, too. Or, well, not very, very hidden, but there's an item. I feel like I should probably go and get that. We can go across. So we never actually even went this far into this place. There is an elixir for us, which is kind of cool. Don't mind me, Weezing, I'm just passing by. We get TM86 for Phantom Force, which is, which is actually kind of legit. We'll take it. And, uh... So apparently that item was elsewhere. And we're just gonna... We're, ooh, there's Muna, too. Or Mana. Whichever. There's also Wild Corviknight. So this is an area where we haven't been able to go to before. So apparently now the levels are gonna be up there... Toward kind of what we're used to, which is actually pretty sweet. So, level 45 Corviknight. Have not seen one of you in the wild like that. We've seen them in the wild area, but we have not seen them just chilling like that. Um, we got ourselves an item over here. It is a smoke ball, and I think that this is a... Is that a stun fisk? I'm pretty sure that's a stun fisk right there. Little, trying to set a little trap. Not falling for your tricks today, stun fisk. Alright, what's up, Hop? What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. Yeah, it looks about the same. Nope, I'm just kidding. It's getting worse. Oh, Jesus. And there he is! Both of them, actually. Okay. They don't have their shield or sword, though, do they? What, what's going on with that? They really are here. The sword and shield Pokemon. I knew it. That homeboy got his ear sliced off, too. What, what's up with that? At least the tip of it. So we just have a nice little stare off. And they're gone. So, where are you going? We need your help over here. You too. What in the world are you doing? Okay, so Sonya shows up. Come off it, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Those, the sword and shield Pokemon. They were right in front of us. But then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure have lost the plot. There was no one here but the two of you. Uh, then, uh, were those just illusions? Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions. Finally found something. Mentions of sword Pokemonization and the shield Pokemon called Zamazenta. The writing said that these two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering wilds sometime long ago. Did they really? Ta, thanks. Not for digging into it, you know. 
even uh, if it's just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the Sword and Shield that those two used to carry are still here too. Oh, so he's going after it. Boy, have we got ourselves into, into quite the, the quest here. Uh, we're just going to continue forward. Apparently, are we looking for the Sword and the Shield? Kind of just a direct straight route here, and it leads us to... Ooh. This place be looking relaxing as hell. Okay. What do we have here? Interesting. Would you take a look at that, Hayden? Now, that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. This place is really cool. I like the design of this whole area. Well, so let's head forward. Is this where the sword and the shield are, sir? This is actually beautiful. Yeah, there's a... Uh, there they are, just chilling right there. Looking a little bit broken. See that, Hayden? The sword and the shield. The legends really were true. Bunch of sparkling things. Let's go ahead and check it out. So, we run up. Something crazy is going to happen when we touch them. You obtained a rusted sword. Nice, so we just actually pick it up. Said that a hero used this sword to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it's grown rusty and worn. That settles it. I'm taking the shield. Well, so yeah, we're forced to take the sword because obviously we're playing Pokemon Sword. Don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but, well, I guess it couldn't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Very cool. Are the freaking legendaries going to come at us again or what? Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere, so it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. Well... Where the heck am I supposed to go now, Hop? I guess we're just going to head back this way as Hop disappears behind us. And... Hmm. So I guess we'll run back this way and see if... Sonya is chilling over here. I don't really know... Where I'm heckin' supposed to go at this point. There's also these Orb Beetle things, which are actually really cool. Heckin' Galarian Weezings everywhere. Oh. Don't know how I avoided that one. It's probably way more for me to ex explore in this place as well. But we're just gonna head back to the front, I guess. I probably could have, like, flown from... Maybe it wouldn't have let me. I don't know. Also, it's very strange running this way. I can't tell where I'm going, but... We're just gonna keep on going straight. Okay, so this is the initial, like, first little area. So we basically just picked up a sword and a shield. Now... We gotta go find Lee again. Hmm. So we're back in Postwick. And, uh. Alrighty. Well. They don't really give us any sort of direction here. Head to Hammerlock Stadium in Hammerlock. That's apparently what I'm. where I'm supposed to head. So let's do it. There's, um, yeah, so there's a flag there. I guess I did not need to walk through that entire route, but I wanted to make sure that, you know, nothing was happening over there. So I guess now we're going to fly to Hammerlock. Back to the stadium, and we have Homeboy just chilling right here. What's up, friend? Well, if it isn't Hayden and Hop, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match, then something like this has to happen. The chairman rose, thinking that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future. All seems a bit mad if you ask me. Can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Well, I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day or the chairman or whatever. Going ahead. I'm off to help my brother. So he is out of here. And he's gone. That hop never changes. Always in a rush about something. Uh, the key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon. We've got everyone evacuated. And you, you're fixing to help our champion to save everyone in the gallery region. Yeah, leaving it up to a child. Our greatest ever champion and greatest ever challenger, along with his fiercest rival, all teaming up against the darkest day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then. Our great challenger heading to Hammerlock Stadium with you. Alright. So, into the stadium we go. And we have, uh, friggin' Elena here, chillin'. She probably still salty about that loss. J Gym challenger, you must help me. I mean, please, help me. <laughs> My Pokemon suddenly Dynamaxed for some reason and started running amuck in the stadium. Raihan, I mean. Mr. Raihan was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium. 
But if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg of your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant to stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternatus. Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what causes Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Galar region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the champion's younger brother, too, but who knows what's going on. All right, well, into the elevator. We got ourselves some crazy shit on our hands here. So down here at the energy plant, things are looking pretty crazy. What's up? Well, what is all this? We need to help Lee. Do we, though? Alright, so... Looking pretty crazy down here. He doesn't seem too concerned. What do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Stop in the darkest day. You know it. Uh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop. Now we've already brought about the darkest day, or should I say. The ultimate Pokemon, Eternatus. I think that... Eternatus? I don't know. Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must seem that I'm doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand, but I must provide the Galar region with limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity. This guy's nuts, man. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. Hmm. That's why I've been giving the wishing stars to Eternatus. Surely, you remember the red light that caused a ruckus around Hammerlock. That was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand, I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. Oh, damn. So, we're about to battle the chairman himself. This is actually a pretty cool scene. Alright. So, he's got an Escavalier. He's got five Pokemon, and we're pr probably going to be okay here. Um, so, we are able to Dynamax here, which is cool. Level 55 Escavalier. A little bit scary. Let's go right into Nugget for this thing. We can kill it with basically any fire move because this thing is a steel bug type. So we're not going to have an easy time with that. Right, let's going to hit us with an iron head first. So does a little bit of damage. We do actually get the flame body though. So that's what you get for touching me. Sir. Okay. We are going to, yep, just click flame charge here. Is he going to have all steel types too? So many steel types. That's gonna knock that thing out nice and easy. Down goes the Escavalier, which is honestly a pretty overlooked Pokemon. The thing does not get enough love. It's got a pretty cool design. Interesting bug type. All right, we get some experience. Dumbo grows to 62. Next up is a Ferrothorn. So we'll just stay in again. Again, another Pokemon that is four times weak to fire. So while you are level 55, you're a little bit scary, um, but we shouldn't have too hard of a time here. Just Flame charging you. Almost knocked it out. This thing doesn't have great physical defense. Uh, if you hit it with something like a flamethrower, though, you definitely just absolutely melt this boy. It does hit us with a gyro ball. Hey, look at Nugget. Actually taking some damage. We do get another flame body. We're two for two on being touched by stuff. And that's actually pretty great. Uh, so, you know what? Let's actually think about camping. Not the time, buddy. Not the time. I should be using Heat Crash. I forget that... I forget that we even have Heat Crash. It's kind of the same thing I was doing with Snipe Shot, but... That's going to take this out. Unfortunately, we do make physical contact, so we get hit with the Iron Barbs. But you've done great, Colossal. Fantastic job, friend. All right, a couple levels up. Nelson, 62. Barney, 63. Next is a Kling Clang. Honestly, we're just going to we're just gonna keep going with our fire. Um, turns out... Ooh, level 56. So this thing's actually... A freaking beast. He's got three Pokemon left. Gonna go for the Heat Crash here. And it is able to live it. So this thing might knock us out. It's actually just gonna shift gear. So that's actually gonna make it faster. And shift gear Kling Clang is a little bit of a threat. Let's raise its speed sharply along with its physical attack. So we'll see if we can take an attack from this thing, which it goes for a wild charge. And we are gonna be able to live it with seven HP and another flame body. What is going on here? So many flame bodies. That's insane. I'm honestly very surprised we lived that, but I mean, we are, we're pretty physically defensive. Probably should not have gone for Wild Charge. He did not get any stab with that, and that's going to be the reason why you lose, so. That boy is dead. Nugget 62. Next is a Perserker. That's the... That's the Meowth thing. <laughs> Let's go into Dumbo for that. Um, didn't I just say we grew to 63? 62, actually. All right. 
to give you a nice little high horsepower. And weird bearded Meowth is a steel type. So high horsepower is going to do the trick. He does still have one Pokemon left, which is going to be a threat. It's going to actually throat chop me, which kind of hurts. Does get a critical hit. That actually did a lot. See, now it's kind of good we're at these levels. I was much higher level. I was way over leveled at the beginning of this episode, but it's not so bad anymore. Still definitely kind of over leveled, but it's fine. All right. Next is a... Hey, he's got one too. Is it about to be a battle of the Copper Rajas? Or should we switch out? Um, we could just go into Jading and go ahead and... Let's, let's do that. Since Dumbo's already taken damage, we can't lose a battle against ourselves. Uh, so we did actually see this Kaparaja when he was using, or uh, when Beatty was using it to try to break down the wall where that mural was. So we knew he had this thing, but now we get to actually see it in action. Level 57. Oh, Jesus. This boy a threat. We're going to go ahead and Dynamax and Max Knuckle this thing. It's definitely going to Dynamax as well. I don't know if these things get Gigantamax forms. I guess we're about to find out. But let's go ahead and get large on him. Sir Fetched is uh, pretty accustomed to the old Dynamaxing. Let's see what the heck happens here. So we're level 62. We should be okay. Don't know what you're going to want to do. I'll show you a move that'll hit so hard you'll be speechless. I don't know about that, buddy. But he is going to... Oh, it does! Wait, is that... This trunk got some crazy ass lines on him. You be looking different. Look at the size of this lad. My god. So we break through. We are able to go first and get the max knuckle off. And that's actually just going to kill it. Surfetch cannot be beat with our ability to critical hit everything. That was insane. Alright, well. If we didn't get the crit there, that definitely would have not killed it. And we would have taken an attack. So, kind of unfortunate we didn't have a better battle against that thing. But... Critical hits are what Farfetch does, or Surfetch does, so that works out. Chairman Rose has been defeated. You suck, buddy. Oh, he gives us the clap. I'd forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled, that sure was satisfying. Get ourselves $11,000 for winning. Not too shabby. Most impressive, Hayden. Wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Gala region. I really do wish I could have seen the champion match between you. You too. I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenger and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as known as po as soon as possible, we awakened Eternatus, and uh, but we can control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a prince from a dragon. <laughs> I do tend to ramble on. I know. I love to make speeches, but I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. I trust you'd be going too, right, Hop? Certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Go on now, both of you two. Uh, go see how our champion is doing. Discourage? You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither me nor my Pokemon were anywhere near giving up. We learned how to be strong thanks to Gym Challenge. You organized. Yep. Thanks, buddy. Well, time to take the lift up, and we're about to see what is going on with said Pokemon. All right, Hayden, I'm ready for anything. Are you? Give me a moment, actually. If you could heal me up, that would be great, but doesn't look like they're gonna. Nope. We need to go ahead and use our own. Oh. We're actually, I guess we could just use, could go this way. We're gonna hyper potion you, my friend. You're actually gonna take two since you're such a beefy boy now. You can enjoy that. All right. And then Dumbo needs one as well. So, down to 18 hyper potions. I think that's probably good. But now let's do it, buddy. I am ready. What do we have here? It's too quiet. Oh my sweet Jesus. Look at this thing. Look at the size of this lad. Yo, that's actually a sweet design. I love it. Really cool color combo. That is badass. He came to help me in spite of the danger. Thanks, Hop, and you, Hayden. You really too. You two really have grown tremendously. No need for you kids to worry. It seems like the power of Eternatus is, was keeping my team from Dynamaxing. But we've had a champion time all the same. Charizard and the rest of my champion team members have really worn Eternatus down. Now if we can simply catch it in a Pokeball, we should be able to get this madness under control. Then everything will be back to normal. So watch this. It's going to be a real champion, chip, champion catch. We don't even get to catch it? What? I want to catch it. Please. 
Let me have you. Oh, Lord. Something tells me it's not going to work out. This would be way too anticlimactic. Using a regular Pokeball? Bruh, I thought you were supposed to be the champion. Oh, oh Jesus. Yep, I could have predicted that. Broke your shit right in half. This boy cannot be caught. Let me at him. Oh man, this thing is pissed off. Oh, and now we get to battle it. Yes. All right. So, et Eternatus. Looking like an absolute beast. No idea what type this thing is or at all. It's got pressure, which is interesting. And it is level 60, so sweet Jesus. This is... I maybe should have saved before this. This is, might not be good. We're going to Aurora Beam you. Um, we definitely need to catch it. It has cross poison, so... Poison type, maybe? Okay, definitely dragon. And is it a dragon poison? That would be fucking amazing. Let's go ahead and bug buzz it now. I'm going to be really upset if I kill this thing. It's not going to dragon pulse. Which will probably... Nope, we, we live in. We're good. Alright, so this bug buzz is not going to be able to do much. We can get one more bug buzz off on it. Except it's actually just going to kill me. So, just kidding. We're just going to click it anyway. And let it dragon pulse us. Now we'll get a free switch in. And we need to whittle this thing down without killing it. And I think the best way to do that would not be to go into Farfetch because we're going to freaking crit it somehow and that's going to be terrible. But what could I do to this thing? I'm afraid. I really don't want to kill this. Let's go into Barney and let's nuzzle it. I think that seems like a safe course of action here. We can get a nice little paralysis so it'll help us out catching it. I could probably nuzzle it a couple times. So now it has flamethrower. Sweet Jesus, this thing is a beast. Okay. So nuzzle, not going to be able to do much, but we do get the paralysis. So I think we just clicked that a couple more times. Um, it's actually going to need quite a few to be able to get it down into red. But we might get some parahax turns. If we can't, it's going to be unfortunate. We are able to live this, but we do get burned, which is a freaking bummer. Flamethrower never burns. But we're going to click Nuzzle again. I really need like three more freaking Nuzzles to get it into red. <laughs> it's doing like nothing now. It does break through, gets off a cross poison. Sweet Jesus. So I'm pretty sure you're a poison dragon. I, I really have no idea, but... Heck. Should I just start hucking some balls at this thing? We're going to go into Dumbo. Maybe this is one of the ones you freaking just knock out, and then it'll be like, it's it's weak. You can catch it now. <laughs> All right, let's go into our bag. Let's try to huck an Ultra Ball at this bastard. I don't know if this is... Let's try Premier Ball first and see if it even... You can't throw a Pokeball. Oh. Okay, well. Then that's fine. We're just going to click Play Rough. And uh, it does break... Th it's faster still. He gets a Flamethrower off. This thing must be quick as hell. That's going to... Oh, we live in. How do we live that? What? Critical hit knocked us down to one. Oh, it toughed it out so we wouldn't feel bad. Wow, thanks, buddy. So we get a play rough on it. And that is just neutral, so yep. We knocked this thing out. I really wish I would have known that I could just do that this whole time. Yo, this is an amazing scene, though. Oh, my God. What the hell is happening to this thing? Hello? Starts a big bang. Universe created. Oh my god. I thought I was going to be able to huck a ball at this thing. Why can't I catch you? Oh no. Is it like going to be like Gigantamax now? Oh god. This does not look good. This is not good at all. Um... Wow, okay. So now this thing is gonna be like a max raid battle. Holy shit, this is awesome. Well, so we sent in Nelson. Um, are we even gonna be faster? Wow, it's huge, let's take it on together. So we get Hop on our side here. So now we get to battle it as a max raid. This is actually super, super cool. I like this a lot. Also, are we healed up? That's nice. Let's go ahead and Blizzard. Let's really hope that we can hit here. Of course, Hop brings out his dent. Nelson can't use any moves due to what? Can't use any moves. Hello? 
Why the hell not? Storing its energy. Can't use moves to, due to a mysterious power. I forgot, we found the sword and shield in the slumbering wells. Um, what? Why can't I erode? Storing its energy still. Can't use any moves because of mysterious power. Hey, and use that sword. It might be old and rusted, but there's got to be some use to it. Okay, let's do it. We're about to fight this thing ourselves, boys. We're coming at you. Oh. Uh, hello? It's back to this area now. Are the legendaries going to help us out? Oh, man. Okay. So they've they've awakened. Dun, 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 dun. What is gonna happen here? Oh shit, here they are. They just come right to the rescue. Man, so this is like the straight up climax. Oh yeah, we put these bad boys together. Yes, now they're at their full form. Looking badass. I actually really like these legendaries. When I first saw them, I was like, they're dogs. One of them's holding a sword. What's going on here? But they're actually really cool. This thing is about to get hacked up now. You fucked with the wrong people, Eternatus. Intrepid Sword. That's an ability that raises its attack. And then Dauntless Shield, so assuming it raises defense. So that's pretty cool. Alright, this thing has pressure now. Can we attack? Let's go ahead and click Blizzard now. Let's see. I wish it'd be funny if you could attack your own people here. Alright, so the Zacian's gonna use Howl. That's, that's not helping us out, buddy. Your attack already got raised. Oh wait, it Howl's for me? Raises my attack? And doubles. So, not really helping me out, giving me a physical attack boost, but, you know, we'll take it. I appreciate the, the kind gesture. And then this thing is going to use a light screen, so that's going to boost our special defense. And we're about to take a max flare, and that is not looking good for Nelson. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, Nelson. I really thought we could at least just get a blizzard off and <laughs> try to do some damage, but... Sweet Jesus, that was the wrong idea, so... God damn. Oh yeah, double coming through though. Wow, that was... Nelson got absolutely destroyed there. So, these things aren't actually going to use their own moves, which is strange. But, let's try to go into... I don't even know what we should... Dumbo's just going to get destroyed by a fire attack. We're definitely going to die to it. Hmm... Might even just bring in Nugget, just because we're thick as hell, and we'll be able to we'll be able to take attacks nicely from this thing. So, at least hopefully, um, we're not able to Dynamax, which is unfortunate. Let's just go for go for a Rock Blast, I guess, which might be a bad idea. We're gonna check it out. Oh shit, he's doing some crazy sword stuff. We're basically going to rely on these things to help us out here. That's going to do a lot. Okay. Nice little solid chunk out of this thing. Perfect. Behemoth Bash. Oh, yeah. Look at this good boy. All right. So we've got it to, like, almost half. And then I'm going to come through and just rock blast and do, like, nothing. But it's able to get off a max flare. And that's going to hurt our boys. Oh, no. It almost killed it. Holy shit, double. Coming through with the double edge, though. Double still helping out. And the Nugget finally is able to get off the Rock Blast. And we're gonna need to hit like five times to even do a scratch to this thing. Oh my god, two times? That did nothing. Bruh. I should not have brought Nugget it. I just know that we'll be able to like take a couple of <laughs> attacks. We just basically need the Legendaries to help us out here. Um, so, we're just... Let's... 
Rock Blast, it's all we got, man. We, we got nothing. This thing is going to get off a Behemoth Blade. We literally are relying on these things to help us out here. I really wish I would have been able to get a Blizzard off just to see how much it was going to do with Nelson, but... More Behemoth Blasts. I don't know which one I like better. I kind of like the Shield one, to be honest. We've got it in red. If Dubwool knocks this thing out, I will laugh my ass off. Critical hit, too. Nice. Now it's going to go for a Max Ooze. Um, so that's actually fine. It is going to destroy the Dubwool, but no, he lives. Dubwool ain't going down like that. This thing does get a special attack raise, though, which is not good. And it gets a double edge off. Not going to do enough. This thing, I noticed, doesn't bring up the shields like they like other Pokemon do in the max raids. Which is good for us. Rock Blast, please just hit, like, ten times. Even though you can only hit five times, that would be great. Okay, we hit three times. So, it did nothing, and now we just basically rely on our good boys to finish it off. Oh, yeah. All right, that is gonna do it. Now do we get to catch you? So, Gigantamax Eternatus. This is it, hurry Hayden, try to catch now. All right, let's get him. Uh, so we are gonna catch, and we're gonna go for an Ultra Ball. Is there any scenario here where this doesn't actually catch? Because I feel like this is the only chance we ever get to try to catch this thing. But we're gonna go ahead and huck an Ultra Ball just for good measure. And let's get ourselves a Legendary. I had no idea this thing was coming, man. I would be afraid to use this thing in a battle. If I caught it, I'd be like, this thing clearly is evil. I should not be trying to befriend this thing, but... Yes. Yes. And we've got it. So, that was interesting. They're really just trying to make you OP right before the champion battle, aren't they? Got him. Thanks for the help, friends. And they're dipping out. Yeah, we don't really get to hang out with them, but... We appreciate the help. Well then, what happens now? You gotta talk to the chairman again? Oh, we're back in Winden, so this is nice. Beautiful day over here. Three days later. We're looking swagged out, as per usual. So, Chairman Rose turned himself in then. Never thought I'd live to see the day. He awoke Eternatus and nearly caused a catastrophe for the entire region. You reap what you sow, I say. You sure do. Listening to some random people. Hop is chilling here. I don't know about you, but I slept like the dead. <laughs> Everyone's still talking about what happened, but at least things are back to normal now. Really, really did defeat Eternatus together with Zazmenta and Zacian. And still, Lee's, well, he's being Lee. Investing on having a championship match with you today. Nice. It's a bit much, isn't it? You sure you're up for it? Not even too sure about him. He was out cold and hurt pretty badly himself during all that mess. I do understand how he feels, though. Feels like I've been waiting forever to get to see you and him face off in a serious match. So come on. The match will be at Winden Stadium. Where else? All right, boys. The time has finally come. We get to do the champion battle. But we're going to save that for next episode. This has been the longest episode in the series, and I really appreciate you if you've kind of stuck with me. I know that I overleveled my Pokemon expecting to do the champion battle early in this episode, but it didn't happen, and uh, it was still quite an interesting one. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.